would it be sensible for AIB manufacturers to make smaller versions of some of their carts, for example 4080? It seems the original large sizes were based on higher expected power consumption that didn't come to pass, leaving the market with many oversized cards. Do you think they might make smaller cards? If not, why? Is it that, that beneficial for AIBs to reduce the cooler designs, or to reuse the cooler designs, sorry, on multiple products? So I believe- hang, hang, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I don't understand this question. What do you mean? That's, that's a normal graphics card, isn't it? Uh, I think, yeah, I mean, let me just, yeah, I think they've normally been like yeah. two to three hands inside. I, I, so I've usually measured them. Hang on, let me just check if we're, maybe we've, we're going down the wrong path here, Tim. So that's a 4070 Ti. And let's get the, the 6700 XT. So That's the 6700 XT? Uh, yes. Okay. Actually, that is smaller. It's a little smaller. It's hard to tell. Yeah. No, I think I think on camera you'll even be able to see that that is smaller. Yeah, slightly. Slightly smaller. This one... Believe it or not, this is way lighter as well. Yeah, I mean, that one looks slightly thinner to me. But hang on, let me just see it from the front again. I mean, the obvious difference is that one has three fans and the other has two. Maybe that's creating an optical illusion. I think that could be it, actually. Yeah, for that, for that card. I think, once again, Tim has solved the problem. So what was the question again? Should they make smaller cards because they seem to be designed for a TDP that wasn't really the eventual TDP of those products? Because there yeah. were rumors at one point that cards like a 4080 would be 400 watts, 450 watts. Mm -hmm. The actual figure I believe mm -hmm. is 320 watts for the 4080. So do they need a refrigerator on top of them? <laughs> yeah, I mean that card should surely be silent during operation, right? <laughs> Uh, I it's don't a know. 4070 Ti. I, 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 maybe the fan. I think the fans are just there, sort of, for aesthetics. I don't, I'm not sure they actually yeah. turn. So yeah, they've, they've probably removed the motors from them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they do. They, they do, do spin, spin, but they yeah. could. Just, that could just be on. Could a, just be a decoration. Yeah, could yeah. be a decoration. So, yeah, a bit ridiculous. A lot of these graphics cards. Admittedly, not all of them are are, are Aorus ridiculous. But yeah, they're pretty dumb. So 4090. Yeah, it makes sense for, I guess. Uh, but the 4080 certainly didn't need it. And the 4070 Ti, it's just hilarious. Yeah. Uh, I think the question had something about reusing the coolers. Yeah. Which I think there's a big part of that. I think also, well, they're not just reusing them because every single cooler I've seen, there's been it's been modified to make it more cost effective for the, obviously, the cheaper price point and the more affordable GPU uh, silicon so it's not simply a copy and paste job where they're just pumping out thousands of these coolers and whacking them on all of the different models so i don't think that's necessarily it i think maybe it's just what would you say like it's it's sort of a mind share thing or i think it's i think it has to do with like the the perception product, the product creep that we've got where products that used to be cheaper and you know the same sort of you know naming scheme used to be you know, you were spending less money on them. Whereas these days, this is a 4070 Ti for $800. The Aorus model is going to be more than $800. Yeah. So you want an $800 GPU experience, which these days is this yeah, big that's, card, that's not sort of with the reception. Like cooler. it's sort of perceived as being a high yeah, premium product whereas, still. You know, the 6700 XT, that was a $480 GPU. So you would yeah, expect like, it to be smaller, yeah. um, you know, less cooling. Junk. Yeah. So... <laughs> I think that plays in, into a I lot of it. So, yeah. that there's now more products above eight hundred dollars. You know, we, you know, there might even be slotting in something like a forty eighty Ti in there in the future. So, forty ninety Ti with so many products, you want them to be these big, well cooled. You know, you want it to feel heavy and look big, like you've just spent a lot of money on it. Which yeah. previously this would have been, you would have thought a six hundred dollar or five hundred dollar sort of GPU. So I think yeah, sort of perception with gamers, and I reckon you could probably put it under the heading of marketing. Marketing, yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. Because as well, if they put a bigger cooler on it, that may cost an extra $10, $20. But then they, they might, instead of making an $800 MSRP card, it's now $900 or $1,000, and suddenly the margins are a lot larger on mm. that sort of product. So there's a whole bunch of things to play there, but I certainly don't think it's for the performance sort of side of things. That is not No, really for most necessary. of these GPUs, it's certainly well and truly overkill, completely unnecessary uh, and borderline a bit silly yeah that wouldn't even fit in my gaming case for my game current gaming PC no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit. fit in a lot of cases yeah right. 